excuse me. I was sick when I wrote this, so my ferocious flows became corrosive, and here's the prognosis. I'm doper than overdoses of coke in your noses, near the level of a potent dosage that makes you comatose or place in a hopeless state of psychosis, and take your breath away like I'm cystic fibrosis. My lyrical approaches roast opponents like roaches under a sunlit microscopic focus. The masses don't notice, but most of those they know on the radio, the flow was so bogus. The Magazines focus on those who are atrocious and overlook the best and the dopest. So I don't give a damn what you read. See, when I spit, I make MC split like I'm Moses. I'm more dangerous than an opponent with suicidal emotions under Al Qaeda hypnosis, roaming a city with a coat loaded with explosives. So when I blow up, I'm leaving many cadavers of irrelevant rappers that could have reached this elegant stature. I severed the tendons of many men, leaving them dismembered and fractured. And Crush microphones till they're degenerate matter. The tensions intensify in my intestines as I digest the tendons of MCs with negative intentions. Eating rappers alive and shading out their excrement, bringing more verses than the new and old testament. My lyrics don't bring me six figures, but you don't need Photoshop to get the big picture. And the fact is, lyrically, I'm a big figure. I spit iller and leave a disfigure quicker than sick drinkers and mixed liquor with ripped livers. The mainstream is a river where I'm taking a shit, cause the worldwide floods not even Nostradamus could predict. You in a nasty predicament. I caused so much catastrophe with his raps, the pack audacity, it's sickening. You bad rappers lack the passion and add so much wackness that even if they're mathematically subtracted, it still wouldn't make a difference. You need to keep your eye on the clock to outwork me, cause I'm the best hands down like an hour before 7.30. But literally though, I was sick. <laughs> I had to cough earlier, man. Peace.